Hey everyone, it's me. I am back. As you can see, I am not wearing any makeup at all. This is because we are going to talk about a pretty, well, I don't want to say basic, but a pretty um, standard skincare routine for people in our age group that will actually work. So it's not going to be too basic. Um, some of you might say that this is a little bit extra, but we're going to kind of go through everything and just kind of determine maybe what you need, what you don't need in here. But there are a lot of different things I wanted to talk to you about. Um, I might sound a bit different. I had a surgery last week and I am still um, getting over that. I'm still in a lot of pain. I thought this would be a nice way for us to kind of start the videos again. I didn't want to just stop. Um, but yes, I'm on pain medication, so maybe it will make it more fun for you. Maybe you can't even tell the difference. We're going to find out. But anyway, so for anyone who's new here, so I am in my 30s and I have been doing um, a pretty serious skincare regimen since I was maybe 14 or 15. That's when I started using an eye cream. So um, it's, it's kind of necessary for me. I've got like these baggies under the eyes and, and I work very hard to um, keep a nice complexion. I also have a background in skincare as an esthetician and a makeup artist, even though now I am in the middle of going to school for something completely unrelated. But we are going to talk about a general skincare routine and how you can tweak this to fit your own needs. So what we're going to start with is washing. And to be honest, you can use whatever wash you need. I have combination skin that has started to dry out a little bit. So I have always used a wash. This is a um, micellar cleansing water, but you don't have to use one of these. You can use a regular wash too. I've always used a wash for oily skin because that's what works for me. Getting rid of everything and then putting back on what you want. That's what works for me. Um, a lot of people in our age group are going to want maybe something for dry skin or something not as harsh, but I find that when I do that, I get acne everywhere. So this is what works for me. So like I said, you know, you can use basically whatever wash you want. A wash is actually like the thing you can be least picky about in your skincare regimen. And what I'm doing with this, since this is a, um, a water-free cleanser, I put some on the cotton ball. They say to use a cotton pad and then like press it into your skin. To be quite honest, I get the same results by just using a cotton ball and also they're less expensive. This one is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water and it is all-in-one mattifying, removes makeup, cleanses, purifies pores, blah 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 blah. It says it's for oily skin including sensitive skin so that's one of the things that makes this so good for me. So we're just going to get all of the skin, all of it, even eyebrows, those count and gently in the eye area. You don't want a bunch of goop in there, but you do want to be gentle. And we want to do our neck too. And our decolletage, we don't ever want to not put product on these areas because this area and this area, they're going to betray your age if you take very good care of your skin up here, but you don't here or here. So we're going to be talking about our hands as well. Hands are the first place that you see aging. I always make sure to put things on my hands that will help avoid that issue. So now that we've cleansed, we're going to not just immediately put on a moisturizer. This is where we're going to use our products that actually do something to... There was a hair. <laughs> to... um. Where was I? Actually take care of your skin. Now, I got this last month. Um, this is the Earth Harbor Marina Biome Brightening Ampule. And it is an oil. It's a skin oil. Um, this is the first time in a long time that I've used a skin oil. I usually stay away from them because I do use other things that I just think work better. But since I had this, I was using it. I do like this. This does have a lot of, um, oh, what is that? Well, it has a lot of oils that are good for your skin, but my favorite is jojoba oil. And this does have a lot of jojoba oil. It's very good for your skin. If you can't afford something like this, but you do want to try an oil, grab a jojoba oil. It's like $10 for a bottle that's like 
this tall. And what you're gonna do with this, in an oil you can skip. You can skip this, um, unless you really wanna be um, doing everything that you can, or if you have really, really dry skin. Just take a few drops, you don't even need that many, and we're just going to take it and apply it everywhere. And I like to apply it, especially in my problem areas and in my dry areas, but you don't need a lot. And as you can see, it's getting everywhere. You also want to get your lips. You never want to forget your lips. This is how our lips dry out. We don't take care of them. You want to get your neck. Oh, I could use a few more for that. You want to get your neck and you want to get your decolletage area. Now, a lot of us with very pale skin, oh my gosh, I've got to stop with that light. A lot of us with very pale skin will get age spots and like redness in this part of our skin. We want to avoid that. Anything extra, always put on the backs of your hands. You always want to do that. So we're done with the oil. And again, the oil is something that is kind of optional, but if if you're the kind of person who wants to try an oil or you are using an oil, you're not sure where to put it in your regimen, you want to do this maybe before you do your serums. Um, an oil is less complicated. It's closer to your skin's natural um, just way that it is. And then after that, you can start putting on other things. The next thing you're going to want to do is put on your serum or serums. I have three here right now that I'm using, but you don't need to use three. What I recommend is one serum for everything, just a general, maybe less expensive serum that still works. Um, I really like this one by The Ordinary. This is the Trixel 10% plus hyaluronic acid. I like this. It's $12 for this bottle. You can put it everywhere. And then also one for your eye area. You've got to have a serum for your eye area. It does not need to be this one. You guys know I love this one. This is like the, the one of very few things that I won't compromise on. Um, but the reason that you want to do this is you want to cover everything. And again, you don't need much, right? This is what we're using all over. You want to make sure you're getting everything. You don't want to just worry about your problem spots. You also want to worry about things that are not yet a problem spot. All of this is skin. You don't want to forget like this skin, for example, or this skin, or this skin, or this skin. You want to cover all of it so that it remains not a problem while you are battling the things that actually are, quote, a problem. So that was my all over. This one is my 111 Skin um, Eye Serum. I like to use this around the eyes. I don't use this applicator though because it wastes a lot of product. I like to use this around my eyes. The reason that you want to use serums and not just a cream, even if you have a really good cream that does something, is that serums are designed molecularly to go further into the dermis, the dermal layers of your skin. That's the layer under the epidermis. And that is where the skin is actually going to be um, making itself, rejuvenating itself, and so on. And so if you've got some sort of ingredient that's supposed to help rejuvenate your skin, you want that to go on and actually be able to seep into your skin before you put on the um, heavier, the, the heavier moisturizers. The moisturizers are going to keep this stuff from getting in. Also, the moisturizer sets you up to have a nice finish for putting on makeup if you decide you want to do that next. I do like to do a second little tiny bit of this guy just to go ahead and put right up here. We want to get rid of any expression lines. This does work very well for that. So I'm putting this here, finishing here. This is actually, you want to finish on your hands as well. This actually, I believe, was advertised as being good for the eye area and lip area. So yeah, it is, I've been using it on my lips. It's fine. You don't want to put a huge bunch of it on your lips, but you can put a little bit. It's fine to do that. So those are the two serums that um, I think are really necessary. I am trying another one here. I don't recommend that you pile serum on serum on serum, 
but this is another one that I do like. This is the little guy. You can get the little guy at Ulta. You don't have to get the big guys of this brand. So this is the Strivectin Anti-Wrinkle Wrinkle Recode. And this is interesting. Now, again, you don't need to use this many serums. I'm doing it because I'm extra and also because I'm trying this guy out. But again, stick with one for all over and one for like a specialty area that maybe you're concerned about. But this guy I want to show you since we're here. So this one pump, you see it's very thick. It's almost like, um, it's not really serum -y. It's almost like a, um, like a thing that you, you know, like the thing you put on before your foundation. That thing. I don't know. It's very plasticky. So this is, this is this guy. It's very thick. And you, as you can see, there's not very much there. But like, I just sort of put it in and it really does. I see why they call it the wrinkle melt because it melts into the skin and I really like this. And so I've been using this a little bit and I have seen results with it. Now, again, you don't need to use three serums. I'm using three serums, like I said, that's a personal problem. But I do wanna say that I have been trying this for less than a week and I have been following the instruction and I am already seeing results with it. So that one, as you can see, is a little bit thicker and that's why I put it on after the other serum. If I wanted to be sane and only use one for all over and one for the eyes, I would do this one first for the eyes because it's not as thick. And then I would follow it with this one, which is a little bit thicker. That's kind of your rule of thumb. So once you've used all of your treatments, Right, and just so you know, if you have a liquid treatment, you want that to go on before the oil, right? We're going um, from least thick to most thick, basically. You're almost done at this point, but you don't wanna leave it this way because you do wanna protect everything that you've just done. You've cleaned, you've put on vitamins and minerals and peptides and AHAs and all sorts of things. You wanna protect it. And that is where your creams come into play. So you want to use an eye cream. I don't care if you're 15 or 102, you need to use an eye cream because if you're not using an eye cream now, you're going to kick your past self in the face later when you realize you should have been using an eye cream the whole time. I, this is, again, another mini. Um, we will get into that in another video, why I'm using a bunch of minis from this brand instead of the big ones that I usually have. But... This is the Strivectin Anti-Wrinkle Intensive Eye Concentrate. And this is their eye cream. I don't know if you can see that. It's like, yeah, there you go. I don't know, the light from my window is crazy today. You wanna to start with your eye cream because usually eye creams have more active ingredients, again, than your finishing cream or just a regular face cream, moisturizer, whatever they're calling it. They all call it different things. Again, you don't need that much. But an eye cream is important. It is important. It is different than a regular face cream. It's going to have more active ingredients for that eye area. The eye area is actually different than the rest of your skin. It has fewer layers and it's thinner. Different parts of your body have more or less, more or fewer. This medicine's getting to me, you guys. I can't talk. I can't talk normally and now it's getting worse. Anyway, you've got different layers, different amounts and thicknesses of layers in your skin, depending on where they are. Mm. Your eyes have extremely thin skin. And you'll notice I'm also putting this like in the little 11 Z's area. You don't wanna get wrinkles in there. And this helps, it has active ingredients. It does change your life, I swear. This stuff is amazing. You have thinner skin here on the backs of your hands. That's why you get age spots and things there more quickly. Um, interesting side note, the thickest part of your skin is actually on the bottom of your feet. You have an extra layer of skin at the bottom of your feet that is just genetically there. It helps us protect our skin, you know, from when we were all running around barefoot, all over the rocks and the sticks and things, hunting bison or whatever. So. That is why humans have that. But anyway, we have a very thin skin in this area and it does need to be treated differently. It needs different ingredients. Um, it needs more intense ingredients to get rid of things that we may see as problems. Did you see that dust? I super need to dust in here. 
Anyway, so the other skin, like skin here, skin here, skin here, right here, it doesn't have as many problems. So we don't need to use something as intense and as expensive as an eye cream everywhere. But of course you can if you want. If you're loaded or you've got a cheap one that you like, go ahead and do it. Put it everywhere. If, however, you're not going to be doing that, this is the time to use a face cream. You can use a face cream that has more active ingredients. Um, there's a Murad one that I got last year from BoxyCharm that I loved. It was my favorite of the year. I think it was the, like the City Pollution one. It was really good. But anyway, um, you can use one like this. This is um, very basic. This is just to protect, um, to put like a final coat over to like hold everything in. So, um, you know, dehydration doesn't take this all of this product out. That's what I'm using today. Um, you need to remember that if your moisturizer does not include SPF, that you add SPF after this. Um, this one does not have SPF. This one is from The Ordinary. This is the Natural Moisturizing Factors plus Hyaluronic Acid. Okay, so like everything here has hyaluronic acid. Some of it's better, some of it's not as good, but this one is very, very basic. And I won't be using this one in the summertime because it's a bit heavy. But it's really good for winter time when you're really just getting dried out because it has a bunch of ingredients that are very basic. Oh, let's see, where are the ingredients on here? Oh, it doesn't have them. It has things like mineral oil. And if you're going to be using something with mineral oil, it needs to be the very last thing you put on your skin because that actually has molecules that are too big to soak into your skin, but it does have the big molecules are able to protect your skin so that things can't come out. And that's why we use stuff like this one or, you know, um, like those really, those, those brands like Dove and, and Eucerin and so on. Am I saying Eucerin? I keep asking you guys and you don't tell me. When I say Eucerin, I say that having heard this word only from European people <laughs> and people from like the Middle East and North Africa. I don't know how Americans say Eucerin. Is it Eucerin? I keep asking you guys every time I say that brand and you guys never tell me. So I don't know if I'm making a fool of myself over here on the American continent or not, but if you could just let me know, it'd be fantastic. Anyway, so I don't know how rambling this was because again, surgery, surgery medicine. I apologize or you're welcome. I hope that this worked out for you. I hope, I hope that this makes sense to you. And if you have any questions about something that's specific to you, please let me know. Um, I know that there are many things that you guys have been talking to me about in the comments and I haven't been able to get to you because, you know, I have been, you know, in the hospital and laying in bed recuperating. So I apologize for that. And I will get back to you. I promise. I know it's been a while, but in any case, this is what you would want to do for dry skin or um, a little bit of anti-aging. If you're looking for something for younger skin or extremely oily or acneic skin, you want to follow the same patterns, but with things that work for you. So for example, if you've got your Yozit cream, right, that would go on um, as a treatment before you actually put on your moisturizer. But if you want something like that specifically, let me know and I can align one up for you and I can show you how it's done with specific product names. I probably would actually buy them because I don't need them, but I can tell you what you should go get. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. In any case, I'm um, sorry if this was super rambly. I don't know what's going on right now in my head or in my life or on this camera right now, but I just wanted to make something for you guys because it has been way too long. I hope you're having a fantastic springtime. It looks like it might be starting to get nice out there. I will talk to you soon. Have a nice day.